Well, good evening, everybody. Live here from the Dewar's Indoor Stadium, where we're currently holding the Co-op Funeral Care Scottish International Open. And of course, play for the day is finished, and we're here to do the live draw for the Co-op Funeral Care International Open, which will be held in Newton Hall Holiday Park in Blackpool, 5th to the 10th of March in 2017. So um, we're gonna do the draw live for the players. On my left is Tom, and Tom will give his bowl a stir. And in that bowl, we have the top 16. On my right, he will give his bowl a stir. And that is all the qualifiers. And I said it like that because, quite honestly, his name has just gone straight out of my head. And it's Dan. So there we are. Right, and how it works, ladies and gentlemen, is that we will pull out the top 16 at seed, and then we will pull out the person that he is going to play against. And then on the draw sheet, which I have in front of me, that there are specific slots that certain numbered seeds go into. So we'll go through that as we do the draw. So if I can have the first top 16 player, please. So that's Paul Foster MBE, who is seeded number six. And he goes into the first slot, um, which will be match number four. He has drawn UK qualifier four, Scott Edwards. Next. Andy Thompson, MBE, seeded at number eight. So he will go into match five. And he will get Murray Glassy all the way from New Zealand. Jonathan Ross, seeded number 13, will go into match number two. Ah, he gets Michael Stepney. Jamie Chesney, seeded at number 14. He will go into match number three. And he will play Shalom Ben Ami from Israel. So Darren Burnett will go into match number 12. And he will get Paul Maynard. Seed, one, David Gourley. Seed number one, David Gourley, goes into the fixed position of match one. Canada, and it's Mike McNaughton from Canada. Seed number four goes into the fixed position at match number eight. And he will get Anthony Webb, which is one of the WBT tour card holders. Seed 12, Jason Greenslade, will go into match number Six. And he has got Steve Halmai from the US of A. Seed five, 
Seed five, Greg Harlow, will go into match number 13. And he has got the Cumbrian ace, Trevor Taylor. Seed number two, Nick Brett, goes into the fixed position, match number 16. And he has picked South Africa, Sean Nell. Mervyn King, Mervyn King, seeded at number 10, will go into match number seven. And he has got the second qualifier from Australia, Kurt Brown. Mark Dawes, seeded at number 16. He will go into match number 10. And uh, that's a bit of a draw, ladies and gentlemen. He gets a Chris Gale. And, and of course, Chris Gale is uh, playing from the same club as Mark Dawes, so there's a match. Mark Royal, seated at number 11, will go into match 11. And he has drawn the Co-op Funeral Care wildcard, Connor Sonato. Seed three, Alex Marshall, MBE, goes into the fixed position, match number nine. And he gets uh, the other WBT tour card, which is Billy Jackson. Les Gillett, seeded at number 15, will go into match number 14. And the lucky gentleman has drawn Dave Rankin from Australia. Seed nine, Stuart Anderson goes into match 15. And he has got the player from Hong Kong, Anthony Yip, who has just strangely enough been here at the Scottish International Open. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, should mean that you should have an empty bowl. And if we can just demonstrate that. And you should have an empty bowl, no trifle left. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, that's the draw. And just to run through it, match number one is um, seed one, David Gawley against McNaughton. Match number two, Ross against Stepney. Match number three, Chesney against Shalom Ben Ami. Match number four, Paul Foster MBE against Scott Edwards. Match number five, Andy Thompson, MBE, against Mr. Glassy. Uh, match number six is a Greenslade against Halmai. Match number seven is King against Brown. Match number eight is a Paxton against Webb. Match number nine, Marshall against Jackson. Match number 10, Dawes against Gale. Match number 11 is a Royal against Sonato. Match number 12, Burnett against Maynard. Match number 13 is Harlow against Taylor. Match 14 is Gillett against Rankin. Match 15 is Anderson against Yip. And 16 is Brett against Nell. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That will all be on the WBT website um, by the end of play tomorrow. Um, just give us a chance to get it all typed up and on there. And whilst we're on air, 
can I thank those of you who have been watching the Scottish International Open here at the Dewar Centre in um, rather cold Perth. And of course, we kick off again tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow is quarterfinals day, and there's some cracking lineups. And if you have a look at our website um, on worldbowlstour.tv, the draw is all on there, the timings are all on there, and we keep the scores up to date on there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it from here in Perth. Our next scheduled event is in January 2017, which is the World Indoor Championships. And again, some of the details are already up on the website. Um, there's some cracking matches lined up in that one as well. And of course, that's a record holder this year. Five ladies have got through to the World Indoor Championships, and no less than three of them are through to the last 32 already. So with that, I bid you all a very good night. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Good night, all.